Hey guys, welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got another episode of Real Watch Talk. No intros, no gimmicks. Let's get straight down to business. Real Watch Talk, the best watches you should be investing your money. But before we go into the topic today, let's do a quick wristwatch check. And today I'm sporting my Rolex Datejust 16014. My birth year, I absolutely love this watch. I really got a real affiliation with this particular timepiece, especially it's as old as me. Very old. I won't tell you what circa it is, this watch, but those of you that are Rolex State Just enthusiasts will know the year of that particular timepiece. But anyway, this is a topic that always tends to come up in the Q&A. I'm not a watch guru. I don't claim to be a watch guru. However, I do work amongst some of the best watchmakers and watch sales boutique managers in the industry and I always ask them the question if I have a set of money and I want to buy a watch but I don't want to lose any money in that particular timepiece a little bit like buying a piece of art what timepiece should I consider to enjoy that I don't need to worry about losing any money and there's three things that have popped up from my research is any sports roller Rolex is a great investment. Patek Philippe Nautilus, Richard Mills and the AP Royal Oak Offshore are brilliant investment pieces. If you buy right, you buy with your head and don't pay over the odds to buy those timepieces, your money is safe. It's a great investment. So let me repeat that to you in no particular order. Richard Mills, great investment pieces. I can't believe they're just going up and up and up in price. Absolutely amazing. Secondly, the Patek Philippe Nautiluses are hot right now. Really hot. You can't get them anywhere. They're just going up in price. Any sports Rolex piece is a great investment. And the AP Royal Oak Offshore. But they're hot for March 2019. But that's serious money there. Those watches are big boy money. And the normal man who's got around four to ten thousand pounds. And that's stretching it, which watches should be the watch enthusiasts, people like me and you, considering buying if we're not looking to lose any money. And Rolex Sports, any sports Rolex is something that you need to consider, guys. And it does sound very cliche, but Rolex at the moment and has been for the last decade, so strong. The brand is so strong. And let's talk about a few models now that I believe are definitely worth investing your money. And I will do another video with images. This is just real watch talk. This is raw, off the cuff, no editing whatsoever, live coming to you guys right now. And Rolex Daytoners. You buy them used, you're not going to lose any money on them whatsoever. They actually cost, some of the models cost more used than actually the retail prices. And I know what you guys are going to say, well, why not go and buy a brand new Rolex Daytona? They're not available. You can't buy them brand new. You know, and the ones that are available are in white gold, in rose gold. Rare materials, the still ones are not available. They're so hard to find. So what you find is it's so rare to find a, a watch, any product that costs more than the retail price. Now, the Rolex Submariner Pre Ceramics are still very good buys, in my opinion. You're not losing money. If you, if you look around, do your research, 
don't pay over the odds. You're going to be able to keep your money safe. Rolex Submariner is the most popular Rolex watch, I have to say. Uh, it's side by side, the Rolex date, just another one. You know, so if you could pick up a Rolex Submariner pre-ceramic now for anything from five to six thousand pounds, you can pick up Rolex date just just like this bad boy for around about four, four and a half thousand pounds. You're not losing any money. And I would say probably in the next 10 years or so, the Rolex Submariner is really hard to say, depending on the model and the condition, would have gained at least two to three thousand pounds in terms of value but it's like enjoying a piece of artwork in your house you get to enjoy it you get to in this particular instance you get to enjoy the wristwatch you wear it it's like you're renting it uh, however in this situation it's not like leasing a car when you go to pass it away or sell it on for example flip the watch you get your money back and you may even make a nice little profit on that particular timepiece and there's other rolex models i think we need to consider now the rolex air king doesn't get any love whatsoever but on the used market you can pick up some really good deals i think they could be potential good investment pieces um the rolex explorer um probably in the last few years has got some real love from the watch community but before that if you asked anyone about the Rolex Explorer 2, it was dead and buried. Um, it was a bit of the ugly duckling to a lot of people. But people like Archie Luxury and a few other YouTubers have really influenced the market. And uh, they're, I think they're the next investment piece potentially as well. Rolex Milgauss as well are potential good investment pieces. What you may be able to get them a little bit cheaper now, but potentially will have big hike in the next five to ten years, I would say. Um, there are some. The Rolex Day Date, the 41 mil, has been discontinued, actually, I was told, by uh, a friend of mine in the watch industry, um, and they've gone back down to 40 millimeters. Now, the 41 millimeters Day Date is even more desirable now. So, even if you've got it in, you know, 18 karat gold or rose gold, whatever or platinum, whatever it may be, um, they've really hiked in price. So if you can find one at a good price, you're in the money. And um, a lot of you guys say to me, is it worth investing my money in Omega? Now, Omega is a stranger. I love the brand. Omega become very soft indeed. And in 2019, I can see Omegas are quite hard to shift at the moment. And the prices are going down and that's really because you know if you if i you know we discuss rolex products for example the daytona go into for example fraser hart and you'll find that there are no still rolex daytonas the only one that might be available is the one in yellow gold for example and it's got a 40 plus thousand pound premium in 2019 um, the still ones are not available you go in into you know if you go into Fraser Hart look at the Omega uh, set section and the uh, concession I should say uh, you'll find that all of their models are readily available and they're very quick to discount and it all comes down to availability and marketing and it's a bit like Richard Mill at the moment my God the prices have just increased dramatically and. Richard Mill are doing so well. They are absolutely great investment pieces. You can get your hands on one. And one of the popular models, I guarantee that you're going to make your money back. You'll be able to sell that. Um, it's going to become very much a deposit box watch, I believe. Uh, the Richard Mills, the Patek Philippe Nautilus are hot at the moment. My God, I'll tell you what. Um, when I sold my Patek Philippe 5711R, uh, I got it commissioned from Patrick Philippe. I mean, with, within 48 hours, he had a list of buyers um, and ver you know, various offers. And we did various counter offers as well. But um, I needed the money uh, and that had to go. But uh, these, these, these watches, are they can be good investments. But I would say to stick to Rolex Sports. You know, that's what I'm doing from now on. 
And a lot of you guys are questioning me about the micro brands. Look, you know, I'm not saying micro brands, brands are good investments. They're good add-on watches. These are watches that you enjoy and you know you're not necessarily going to make your money back. You know what I mean? It's uh, one of those things I have to say. But uh, yeah, these, is, these are the watches that I would recommend um, that you invest your money in right now. So any sports, Rolex, Richard Mill, Patek Philippe Nautiluses, AP Royal Oak Offshores. They're hot at the moment. And in the business community, the big CEOs of firms that are looking to do a little bit of tax evasion, that's where they're investing their money in, guys. So that's my little real watch talk for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you love the content. Don't forget to click that little bell so you don't miss any of my future content. Hope you enjoyed the live, raw, off-the-cuff, no-edit show. And I'll see you in the next video. And yes, I am absolutely shattered. I've hardly had any sleep. It's been a long, long week, but very lucrative, very productive. Bit of this is coming, so hopefully I can invest in some of the watches that I've mentioned in this video. I will do another version of this video with photographs and stuff like that so you can see the visuals of these particular timepieces. But take care and I'll see you in the next video.